Hi, today I'm going to talk about some Shopify SEO. I have a product page up here called Hot Cinnamon Spice. It's one of my best selling products. Um, so to create your page, you use a straightforward title. I love a long description here, uh, sprinkling in some important keywords like black tea, spicy, uh, spiced black tea. There it is right at the top. Um, I also like to embed a video into it and link the video back and forth on from YouTube. And I also put in a couple of internal links for similar type products and your image. Always use the alt tag in your image. In this case, I used hot cinnamon spice tea, flavored loose leaf black tea sold by the ounce. That's long, but Google loves it because Google cannot classify pictures unless you give it a description. And why not rank on, on Google images as well? So alt tags, very important. But the real juice of it is down here. And this is the search engine listing preview. Um, the page title, this is going to be what's at the top. You can use a longer title if you like. Um, I could use the word spice, uh, hot cinnamon spice, loose black tea, or I can use the word premium loose black tea. Um, but I chose not to here to keep my titles kind of simple. But the meta description here does uh, strengthen the words, my keywords. It reinforces them, black tea, cinnamon, spicy, without sugar, without sugar, sweet. So these are like the big selling points, our best selling black loose leaf tea. I don't sell tea bags, so I want to differentiate myself on that. And I'll show you why that's so important. Now on Google, this is the most important part, your URL handle. This is the second thing they look at after your page, what your website is called. Mine happens to be Good Life Tea. So I have the word tea in there. So they already have an idea that I'm selling tea. But then the next thing is when I have products under that you are, that uh, website name, I have <clears throat> hot cinnamon spice tea, and it is flavored loose leaf black tea. Okay, it's very long, but this is very descriptive to you, Google, and it helps in your ranking. I'll show you in a second why. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open a incognito window and I'm going to type in a uh, hot cinnamon spice loose tea and I rank number nine down here number nine after a bunch of other places mostly Amazon which I am never going to beat and another manufacturer called Harney and Sons which you know they're pretty big uh, uh, tea company so I'm ranking number nine on the page now, if you're not on the first page, you might as well be gone because that's where the SEO action is to get search results. Now, I also want to point out something here that there is only 1.1 million pages indexed under this title. But if you take out the word loose, look what happens to the number of index pages. It goes up to 10 million. I don't rank under this title because this title is so generic that it includes tea bags and um, other kinds of different ways you can serve the tea. Um, so it's hard to rank this way for me. Um, I'm not even on the first five pages having looked, but there's 10 million pages. So by using the word loose, I move from obscurity to page one and from uh, 10 million results, I'm down filtered to 1 million. So there's my SEO tip for the day for you folks. Thanks a lot and we'll see you soon.